Does that automatically go live on my phone? Hey, Miss Tammy, you are live. Hi, why isn't it showing on my phone? Hi, is anybody there? Let's look and see. I'm going to check and see if I can find you. Let's see. Hi, everybody. Oh, here, where's my comments? Yes, you are here. You are there. You are live. Oh, yeah. I got There. So I'm going to go on. I had to fix my phone. Well, I see six people are here. Hey. Hello, everybody. Hi, Kat. How are you? I'm going to. Oh, goodness. I have to use my phone for chat. <laughs> Let's see. I've never done this. Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it, Tammy. I'm there. I can see it. <laughs> Hi, Kat. I saw you. I, I like your uh, starting this. So have you been selling or are you just starting? I've been liking your stuff. Hello, Pamela13. How are you? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Pam Pamela. Everybody can hear me. They just can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all hear Martha. She's she's in my computer talking to everybody. She magically appeared. <laughs> I know. Isn't Dave a handsome fella? Tammy should put him on more often. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Christina. <laughs> How you doing? So, yeah, I'm... I didn't think uh, Katie was going to be here today, and David's coming on to help me. He usually sits over there. In the corner. I have him closer so I can hand him things and put down here. Christina Taylor, hello. Good to see you. We have a, uh, that's Christina K with a K. With a K? Yeah, Christina. we were in a chat the other day, and they were like, hi, K. Hi, C. <laughs> I love <like> that. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> I didn't print. I didn't write one. That's no, it. Not and Mary. Hi. Hello. Good to see everybody tonight. Hi, Mary. I hope y'all all looked at uh, Tammy's preview stuff. She's got some great stuff tonight. Well, sadly, I only did a picture, so yeah. um, I hope y'all zoomed in. Hi, Hi Helen Booty. Hi, Helen Booty. A vision. Hi, Tina. Me and Tina are doing a sale tomorrow with Miss Pam on Miss Pam's channel. I can't wait to see what Tina has. She always has some exotic and fun things. Something to talk about. <laughs> that will be a fun sale. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow on Miss Pam's channel at 7 Eastern. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Glad to see you here. Oh, hi, Debbie. She says first it's her first sale. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, Debbie, if you've never been here before, you see my email uh, um, scrolling across the um, screen there. If you could send me an email, if you purchase anything, um, and that's how we uh, send the invoices with your name, address, and zip code, and your PayPal information. But great, great. Glad to have you. Have you been to any sales before? Or is it just your first time at mine? And if you're not subscribed to Tammy, please do so. Helen, that's uh, Martha with Vintage Conversation. Oh, that, yeah, it's me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, me, Martha, and Christy with Tippy Week Vintage and Martha with Con um, Vintage Conversation. We all went shopping this past weekend. Did you? My video came out today. Yeah, it came that's out right. today. Um, this morning, yeah. Those girls are crazy. They're just crazy. <laughs> we had a, it was fun. We we were, what did y'all call it? Bootlegging something in the parking lot? <laughs> Bootlegging what? <laughs> I had all those VCRs in the back. Of, I, you know, uh, I'm trying to clean out my hoard. I used to own a video store and we had tons and tons of videos and VHSs and VCRs and stuff. So I was cleaning that stuff out and I was going to drop it off in the at the Goodwill, and it's been sitting in my car for days, 
and I took my car with all those girls and I'm up, you know, had the top open. We were putting our boxes in and we were doing our video and you see all that. So it looks like we're bootlegging the VHSs out there. <laughs> so good grief. I just had to buy a new uh, DVD player. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I don't know if anything was wrong with them or not. I end up getting a TV with a, um, with, with that built-in, dual, built yeah. built-in. Oh, those uh, are good. Here is um, Vintage Conversation. Oh, hi, Katie. Hi. Hi, Martha. You're looking good tonight, lady. Thank you. I appreciate it. I thought the blue would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. So, um I didn't think you were coming, Katie. I wasn't sure if you were going to be here or not. So. Well, I hope you got my Instagram message. I just got it just a minute ago. Yes. Okay. Um, well, behind. I didn't send you my list. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I am. I am ready to help list or not. <laughs> well, just first of all, we're we've been praying for you and your family, and you know, keeping you in our thoughts. So well, our condolences you. to you and your family. Well, I really appreciate it. It's been hard for us all. Yeah. Yes. Um, I did send you a package in my last mail out, so you should be getting a package from me. Katie, don't, do don't there's more than one item in there, okay? Okay. <laughs> I promise I will. I will <laughs> that, that poor ribbon tin got lost in the kangaroo somewhere. and I uh, haven't found it yet either, so um, I know I put it in there. So I very, thought, well, maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's possible. Jody, oh, this wow. beautiful man is David. This is Tammy's husband. Yes. Oh, y'all haven't seen him? <laughs> he, 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 sure. he they, they only recognize me. They only recognize me when I have a gown on. <laughs> <laughs> Do not give him some kind of con, you know, a boost of ego. You know, I got him right where I need him. I don't need him up here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no problem. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Look, we got a new Tammy to join the Tammy Club. Lots of Tammies in our community, I'll tell you. I've never met so many Tammies until this community. <laughs> I, you know, I hardly knew any Tammies growing up, and here we are. And they're all about my, you know, around my age. So it's an old name because I'm old. <laughs> There's a lot of Christines, too, I think, in our, our group as well. And yes. Michelle's. Michelle's, Christines, and Tammies. <laughs> and my middle name's Michelle. <laughs> oh, you fit in perfectly then. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Hi, Hi Barb. Hi, Jody. Did I say Jody? Did I say hi to you? Yes, yeah, she was the one that called David the beautiful man. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and don't, Christina. Him, don't, don't put him on a pedestal. You gotta <laughs> keep him right here. <laughs> you need glasses, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing for him to uh, model tonight either. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe he can model the Afghan. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, Jody likes your lipstick. Thank you, Jody. I think the red color is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah that just makes your skin so more porcelain looking. You know, that looks great on you. Well, thank you. I know not everyone can uh, pull off red lipstick. So no, I can't. I feel very lucky. <laughs> At least I don't think I can. I don't try to. What's your brooch today, Katie? The brooch I've got on is this blue 1950s brooch. Hold so on. I think it's really pretty. Oh, yeah. Is that purple? Is that pink, pink winkle or what do you call it? It's kind of like, a, I guess you could say like a robin's egg blue or a periwinkle blue. I don't know. What shade would you guys describe that as? Light blue? Periwinkle. Or, Periwinkle, yeah. yeah, and it's got the the uh, prong set little rhinestones. It's just really beautiful. Really pretty. Matthew Periwinkle. Matthew Periwinkle. <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> Nine or two on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we got a, a couple of new people in here. Hey, if y'all are not already subscribed to me, please subscribe to me. Be my friend. And share with your neighbors and your your mailmen and your people in the choir at church. <laughs> Give a big thumbs up. Yeah. And the bake sales. And and Martha is the one that's uh, the voice for vintage conversation. I saw someone asking that. 
Martha, do you want your picture on? You can put your picture on. You can. No, I'm, I'm not dressed. She's in, oh, she's Martha. Naked. Martha. She's in Carlos and Amumu. <laughs> Hi, Chicago lady. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> Judy, I always forget her name. Jeannie. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I will start today. Uh, um, start ourselves. Um, oh, I want to let y'all know, um, for those who just showed up, and I guess I'm going to say it a little bit later, too. Tomorrow, I'm having a pop-up sale with Miss Pamela, Pamela Blancher on her channel with Tina from a, um, a Vision and Vintage Co. Did I say that right? Yeah. Tina with a Vintage, vintage and Vintage Co. Did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. A Vision and Vintage Co. You got it. <laughs> uh, Tina should have some interesting things. She is a uh, very extravagant in her decorations and stuff. Really cool stuff. Really fun. Something to talk about, I say. So yes, definitely cool, unusual vintage. Uh -huh. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Melinda. Hi, guys. <laughs> Louie says hello to all of you, too. <laughs> Service hello, is getting Louis. faster. I'm glad you like it. And if you can tell me what kind of metal you thought that was. <laughs> um, but, uh, as soon as people pay, I ship it that same day. If I if it's before five o'clock, my mail I make my mailman take it all because <laughs> he comes late, so I'm able to get things out quick. Yeah, he has like a two or three hour lunch, so we're yeah. good in the afternoon. <laughs> Actually, I get mad now if they come early. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Lynn. Hi, Cat. <laughs> so, okay, let's get started on something. Here, I'm going to start with, um, again, I guess uh, I should tell y'all, if, uh, if you're um, purchasing anything today, be sure to send me an email to the email address going across the uh, screen here. I'm Vintage Uprising Texas on everything. So, Vintage Uprising Texas at gmail.com. Send me your name. Uh, uh, YouTube name if it's different and your PayPal information. See, I can't talk. I just I fumble all my words. I hate that. Well, the address and all the information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen, so it is okay, Tammy. <laughs> that's that's why I like Katie. She she can talk so clear. <laughs> She's a speaker. I'm not. <laughs> okay, Mr. Froggy here is a salt and pepper shaker, and his. I was shaking it. His uh, stopper is inside. It's in there. It's just inside there. These are from Japan. It says Japan on the bottom. And the funny thing is, they say different prints of Japan. I thought that was funny. But reminds me of those little poisonous frogs, which are my favorite. Those colored frogs. The little dart frogs. Yeah. But. Uh, so we got these two little froggies. They're salt and pepper shakers. And they're going to be $10, no, $12, number 10. Those little frogs are just darling. <laughs> Is my fan loud? Do y'all hear that? I do hear it, but I didn't notice it until you said something. <laughs> I didn't no, notice can it. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine. Okay. Yeah, you sound good. I can hear you just fine. You can hear me just fine? Yep. <laughs> I'm glad you can hear me because this is the first. This is the first he ever hears me. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I just don't listen. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> so, the froggy set, $12, number 10. It's like, why are you telling me again? I ignored you so well the first time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I know your secrets, little boy. <laughs> Here we have, let's see, my camera need to come closer. Here we have, I cannot, we were debating on what this is. Well, it kind of looks part dog, part elephant. <laughs> part pig. Or I said, I thought it was a pig, but what pig kind of has these colors? What dog has these colors? I don't know. Well, but, it's kind of shaggy like a furry dog on the bottom, but your head has a pig snout. Right. That's right. It does have the 
coat of a pig. And is that a googly eye? Is that googly or just painted? It's painted. The eyes are 3D, but uh, and it looks like a googly eye, but just painted on there, I guess. But yeah, we're calling it a dog pig. It's a dog pig. I like that dog pig. <laughs> Our pig dog. Jody said it's a Seuss animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> or an animal from uh, no such things. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cute little figurine. I like his little uh, splash of paint all over him. And he's just he's just a couple of inches tall, four inches to his snout, four inches tall. He is eight dollars and he's number sixteen. He's a darling little guy. He's so Poor dad. Pig dog. Pig dog. dog Looks pig. like he got into the watercolors there a little bit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> And then, let's see. Then we have another pair of salt and pepper strakers. And I thought these were really cute. Do they look like angels to you? A little bit. Otherwise, I didn't know what they were. And I see Cat for number 16. Thank you so much, Cat. Thank you, Cat. It's a, I think it's a little angel the head and the wing showing there big old lips which way am i going and they are also japan with the old uh, stoppers hey baby i'm on online my son's coming in being loud <laughs> but uh these are salt and pepper shakers and they're going to be 12 dollars and they're number five. Somebody said they see fish. <laughs> fish? <laughs> they could be mermaids, mermaid angels. Oh, there you go. But that's a fat body, ain't it? You I can see the fish tail. Mm. I thought they were cute. Still unsure what they might be. So. Well, if you buy them, they can be whatever you want. Right? You name it, whatever you want. <laughs> They can be Seuss fish. Hi, Lori. Then I have this creamer. It's an Italian creamer, and I guess it's redwood. I mean, redwood, red clay. Um, little flowery creamer, and I thought also it could be used as a planter. I thought that was cute. Oh, perfect. I use it as a pen holder. Or he would use it yes. as a pen holder. Pens, absolutely. Yeah, I guess it would hold meh, a couple of pins. Well, the hoe is small. So, but I love the little orange flower, the yep, the colors, the yellow, yellow, orange, black, little Italian pitcher creamer. Uh, it's twelve dollars, and it's going to be number twelve. And how old is your son, Tammy? Which one? I got the four. That, the one that just came in. Jody wants he's, to know. He's my youngest. Um, we call him baby. And uh, he is going to be 30 this year. Right? 30? Sure. Yeah, 30. He's going to be 30 this year. And he got the name baby because I had four, the three boys before him. One, two, three, four. I mean, I they were all boom, boom, boom. But uh, they couldn't say his name. His real name is Karsten. And they couldn't say it. So we used to always say, go get the baby a bottle. Go get the baby's toy. Go get me a diaper for the baby. And we always say the baby, the baby, the baby. And they come in there, the baby's getting my stuff. Well, eventually we just dropped the, and they were saying, baby's doing this, baby's doing that, you know? <laughs> so we, he grew up calling him baby. Um, my dad, uh, when he coached him his first year, and he was like 11 or 12 years old, he coached him because my kids had to go to his division. My dad wouldn't come down and coach them in the lower divisions. But uh, they came up and uh, he drafted him to his team. And he um, went to him and, you know, in front of the kids and called him baby. And he went to my dad and says, Papa, don't call me baby here. Call me by my name. <laughs> you know, my dad come to me and asked me, told me that he had asked him not to call him baby. 
And he goes, what is his name? <laughs> <laughs> Not our family. Everybody in the family always called him that. So anyways, that's a little story. But he lives next door to me, you know, right here on the property. Oh, that's so nice. Like, like a, if y'all caught, caught um, Christy's video, she was calling my property here a compound because my brother lives back behind me and one son lives next to me. If I could have it, if I could, had a big enough piece of property, I'd had everybody here. But far away. <laughs> big, big property. Okay? David. <laughs> next here we have these little fishy dishes. They're little trinket dishes. So I think they're, um, um, what do you call it, project pieces. They were, I think they were handmade. Yeah, definitely. And they're, they're like a little bow. They sit like that. They're little trinket dishes. You see, these are about the same size, and this one's a little bit bigger. But they're very cute, very darling. Two are the same color, and then the brown one here. But uh, you see the back. And it's got a nice glaze on the front. And the eyes look a little 3D-ish, a button, button eyes. But little trinket dishes is what I'm calling it. You know, so and there, you can tell the size difference in the small ones and big ones. But they're little pottery pieces. And for all for the three pieces, I'm doing for fourteen dollars, and it's number twenty-four. Wow. I like those little fish dishes. <laughs> Louis likes them. Louis likes it. Oh, like that fish. So, Tammy, Jody is asking if there are any chips or any type of damage on those. On these? Yes. Nah, no. And I see Christina Taylor for number twenty-four. Congratulations. Nope. They all look good. They're they're curved up to made like trinket. I mean, little dishes. But no, no chips, no nothing. They're good. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. She didn't shut the fridge. Um. Now this this little piece, I was excited to see it. Disappointed after I got it home. If you saw it in my haul video. I, I thought, okay, I thought at first it was just the, the red wear because it's all, you know, the red, you can see the red wear coming out or the, the color underneath. A little um, ashtray. And then I thought, okay, well, I thought that was uh, just this color. But no, it was a chip. But once I started looking at it, it's a major repair. It's been broken all the way across and repaired i didn't know that when i got it I, I just thought this was originally the color of the sides here because i just saw a poodle and i grabbed it but it's cute i have it so the price is going to reflect on it i'm doing it for six dollars for, um, for number 25. it's still cute it is and if you get this guys you're saving vintage <laughs> yeah <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice it though, but oh, we I, won't have done that. I get excited when I see the poodles. You were poodle drunk. Yeah, I was poodle drunk. <laughs> that would make such a cute soap dish in your bathroom. Uh huh. Oh, it really yeah, would. Yeah, it's a good size for the little soap dishes, but other than I mean, it's good and sturdy, and they did good on it because it's not quite an obvious piece except for that for that little chunk right there. Which again, I thought it was the color of all this. So anyway, six dollars for number twenty-five. Jody saying thrift use on Oliver says unless it's in pieces, it's still useful. <laughs> <laughs> I like that slogan. <laughs> and I see a calypso cat for. Let's see. Yes, number twenty-five. Awesome calypso cat. Thank you, cat. And. Here we have. I fall down. Wait, fix that. I have this coffee tin. Um, what is it? It's that aluminum uh, 
tin brush aluminum um brush right. aluminum that's right. what it's yeah let's say it right mm -hmm. and it has the you have this handle it's in good shape i'm not even sure why i'm selling this because i should have had it on my coffee bar over here but i like that it says coffee and i guess you know if you're missing this one piece it's a because there's a series of these the sugar flour and stuff like that the little containers um hmm. i'm going to do this for um 15 dollars and it's number six 15 dollars the brush aluminum number six so mid-century and fun yeah hi benny hi benny change that Hi, Annette Fain. Oh, a new aluminum. And I see Nettie with that adorable little pug picture for number six. Thanks, Nettie. Thank you, Nettie. Change that for me. Okay. Now, I got this little cutie thing. I love him. He's just so cute. Oh, 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 oh. he's darling. Little mouse. He's kind of heavy, too. And he's kind of, you know, his little whiskers are a little 3D-ish. He got little red eyes. And it came with one earring that's a little apple, right? Yeah, it's an apple. <laughs> the one earring was on it already on it. So I guess that show you how it's supposed to be displayed. He got little feet to hold him up. He is cute. Go the little... Go to plated, but you see, can you tell by my hand how wide he is? About five and a half inches wide. He's a cute little good booger, and he is going to be twelve dollars, number twenty-seven. I love mice, and I think that he is darling. Even and if they run across your floor, you love them. Uh, well, I don't know about that. But I, I love mice and I, I love rats too, pet rats. I, they're very smart and you can train them to do all kinds of things. It's really marvelous. <laughs> Louie would probably like one running across the floor. Yeah, yeah no, Louie would have a, a heyday and I think it would end in a, in a bloody murder situation. <laughs> yes. And I see Laura Melinda saying she's lagging. So, guys, if you are lagging or you think you might be lagging, refresh and make sure to be in live chat, not top chat. Yes, Jody, this is for earrings. So, and there's one in here already, a little apple earring. And you pin it in like that. Can you see it? Oh, I cannot figure out this camera. He's a cute uh, no, Jody, I don't think so. <laughs> She's saying that she saw a rat trained to use the toilet as his litter box. Yep. Huh. I've seen rats do that and they can count money and uh, they can uh, bring you like t tissues. Like the lady said, bring me a tissue and the rat went and got it. And they can do mazes and all kinds of complicated puzzles. I, th I think rats are a lot smarter than we probably give them credit for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody took some time with the, with the poor little critters. <laughs> That's sad. We're afraid of some of these things. <laughs> now I have, um, these are a uh, federal glass dessert, fruit bowls, fruit cups, dessert cups, whatever you want to call them. I have a set of four and there's one blue one. A bite mark. It does. Oh, yep. I didn't see that. The blue one has a little chip right there. Where is it? Yeah, right there. So I don't know what exactly they're supposed to look like, but it kind of looks faded. You know, I'm going to change that too. But again, for Fourth of July, these would be really fun in a, a display for Fourth of July or President's Day or which one? Yeah, berries in it. So you got your red and blue at least. Just throw you in some white somewhere. So these are going to be for the four, fourteen dollars, number thirty-five. 
or the federal glass dessert bowls. Looks like ice cream for me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Perfect ice cream serving for these. <laughs> and then I see Carrie, KCATX, picking those up. Congratulations, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Um, then I have this owl. Do y'all have any owl lovers out there? He sees something when he's going after it. I love that he's sitting on this world bar this uh, barrel. I need my big paper to put behind here to. You need something to the background. Yeah, because it make him stay in focus. But what's so cool about this one? It's also a music box. One. I don't know where my speaker is. Can y'all hear it? <clears throat> He's a cute little owl. Very funny, Jody. Who doesn't love an owl? <laughs> <laughs> and look at that face. He's like, where is the camera? Oh, my God. I can't do this. There. How far he's going. Alert, and he's on the barrel. I mean, I don't know if I'm getting it. It looks like a stone. But he's a ceramic little owl. He's going to be $12, and he's number 15. He is fun. Okay, owl collectors, where are you? <laughs> and it's a music box. That's the fun thing about him. I always try to figure out what those songs are, and I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> I didn't turn it all the way on much because I didn't want to keep listening to him. He's probably playing something from the Who. From the Who. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody collect bees? There's my sticker on here. I started collecting them and I, only, I already have this one. So these are the Avon dolls. It's a, it's a small world, perfume bottles. So otherwise I'd be keeping this one, but I'm on the lookout for these. I only have two so far, but I found her and Got her home and eh, I already had her. So that just goes to show I have so much stuff. I don't know what I have. <laughs> so um, little cute Avon bottle. I mean, and it's called, it's, it's a small world from Avon. She is $14 and number 14. So if y'all run across these, let me know. They also make matching pins that go with those little perfume pins. Oh, did they? So be a, good, uh, a good, you know, collection together. They would be. They're just very adorable. Great Mother's Day gift, too. The, the This a Father's Day gift? A Mother's Day gift. I <laughs> like, One is a Father's Day gift. <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> Okay, here I have a little uh, cookie jar, this basket weave ceramic cookie jar with the flowers on the top. Let's see. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It's been a while since I've... Maybe this was a, a yeah, ceramic piece. It has this inscription on it. Is that a name to the what? Let me have that piece. There is a little chip right there. It's just a message. I, this was a wedding gift. So it says to the bride and groom. And then it just says love, love always Lydia's Lydia's ceramic. So I guess it's maybe a, a wedding gift from Lydia who owned a ceramic shop. Oh, that's sweet. Good old Lydia. Very sweet. Love those stories. A little watercolor would touch that right up, but no one would ever know. <laughs> yeah, that's you right. You don't see it very, very, um, it's not real bad, so, but it's there. Anyways, I love the little bouquet of flowers on there. 
kind of my colors, the yellow, orange, and green. I like that, and I like the basket weed part of it. What are I doing my figure? Can you use it now? Oh, here it is. It is. I'm very, I must be or, unorganized tonight. It's $14, and it's number 18. Hi, and Thomas. Thomas. Mr. Lynch. Ben's in as well. Annette. Hi, Annette. Hi, Benny. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Glad to see y'all tonight. So many great friends in the chat. <laughs> now, let's see. Oh, where am I? Now, I have this. Let me find my... I see we have 57 viewers. I hope everybody is subscribed and giving a thumbs up tonight for Tammy. This is a, uh, one of those vintage, um, put eight on it. One of those vintage decals, um, still in its package. And I'm trying to see if there was a year on it. It was, it was 29 cents back in the day. Joey created a little bit. <clears throat> Jody went normally on until 9.30, so you got plenty of time to go take your quick shower and come back. <laughs> and I see Mary Warrior for number 18. Mary, thank you. So this said, uh, I don't know how many is in here. I'm trying to read. I don't see where it says, and I've never opened it. Oh, wait, it's just taped down. Hold on. I don't know. It's brand new in the package, but I don't read where it says. I guess it's just one because it's very thin. But anyways, it's an apple decal. And then these are the kind of decals they would put on the those little cribs. Not cows. I mean, apples, of course. But I think it's something like these. Those little uh, cartoon ones. I wish I could find those. But this... Uh, it's a charming, um, beautiful colored charmed decal. Easy to apply. Easy to remove. Hmm. Anyway, it is $8 and it's number seven. Marico from the Marico Company of Meyer Chicago. Ford. Meyer, Meyer Ford. Company in Chicago. So. I love that 29 cent price tag. Yeah. <laughs> and I see Christy to be winged vintage picking that up. Congrats, Christy. Christy, what you gonna do with that? What you Probably gonna put it on? Crafting, I bet. <laughs> um here I have another one of my head scarves. I have a whole bucket of these. And here's a green. Oh, there! I do have something he could try yeah, on. You, say you got a model. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has where it gathered at the bottom. Some of them had the triangle backs, but this one has where it just ties at the bottom, like the Angemama. I don't know if you wear it this way or this way. You can probably wear it both ways, but this this goes in the back. You know, it goes in the back. I'm talking about this because yeah. this padded, I would think, goes on top of the head, anyways. And then it ties them at the neck. neck. But I'm thinking of Aunt, when I think of Angie Mima, I think of it tied up here like that at the top of the head. Anyways, so this is a green. I don't know what you call that kind of print. Houndstooth. It's kind of like a houndstooth. Houndstooth. I'm glad y'all know y'all's prints. <laughs> I know my patterns. Yeah. <laughs> These are my houndstooth golf pants. And this is four dollars, number forty-seven. He would want some funky pants like this. How bourgeois. <laughs> and he's got to model it. <laughs> you got to model it. What to model it? Oh, yeah. Yes, this would look good on him. Wait, like a bunny? <laughs> I think I put that one on the other night. <laughs> it's going to mess up my bouffant. <laughs> there you go, and it ties right there in the back. Oh yeah, this works good with men. I feel like a welder. <laughs> a welder, yeah. And I see Shelly H picking that up. Congratulations, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. 
Now, I love vintage toys. And I, I have a lot of little stuffies, little plushes. But this one is Darlin. He stands about 11 inches tall. And he's a checkered pattern. So, I don't know if this is a horse or a giraffe. I think a giraffe. I think giraffe too. I, I yeah, kind of, yeah, this probably really gives it away. I mean, he has a long neck, but this even more so, huh? So yeah. he has the. the oh, uh, he's a giraffe. Uh, my first thought when I picked him up was horse. You've never heard of a gingham giraffe? Gingham giraffe, like he got <laughs> nose prints too. His eyes. He got that. These are uh, the vinyl ears, and I like his little mane. He's a cute little fella. He was like so well loved. <laughs> and I think it was, wasn't it you, Martha, that told me if you can, um, you know, take a little, unsew him a little bit and stick a stick up their body so their heads won't flop over. Yes, ma'am. Like a paint paddle or something like that. Yes. And uh, I mean, he's doing pretty good, but he is, has a little flop to him. He is going to be $14 and he is number three. 36. My little yeah. vintage giraffe. Martha is the voice from above, the woman behind the curtain. <laughs> She's our odds. <laughs> and I see Shelly H again picking up another great item, number 36. Thanks, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. And I have these. Now, I love these, of course. I love the colors. I love, love, love these colors. And I've had them for a little while. And they've been sitting in my guest room that my son has taken over. So I guess I'm just going to move them on. They are Japan. They say Japan on the bottom. They have their Japan sticker. I just love the orange and uh, green of them. She's holding a cat. He's holding a puppy dog. Now, they're pillows that they're sitting on. They're sitting on these pillows. They're kind of tatted up right there. But the figurines themselves look good. They feel good. and But um, the little pillows are, that one's not so bad. But he's a little rough. They're, their little pillows are a little rough, but they're attached. I don't know that. And they're faded. As you can tell, they used to be kind of a more red. But aren't they cute? I just love these colors. They're adorable. So they're $16, number 33. Oh, that little dog and kitty cat are just darling. How cute. I don't know why they're sitting on pillows. Hi, Bob and Rose. Welcome. I just love how he's dressing his best. His little top hat and his little bow tie. Not a bow tie. I don't know what kind of David, what kind of tie is that? He that's would a, know. That's a cravat. Okay. A cravat. Or a ascot. <laughs> and I see Sue Spezio for number 33. Congratulations, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Now, since I picked this up, I've seen many of them. And I thought it was pretty cool at the time. I've never seen one. Now I have a second one and I've seen other people have them now. The other one I have is no, it doesn't have the print on it like this. But this is a bedside water decanter and it has this little glass already with it. And this has flowers all the way around it. Embossed or whatever. I mean, um, I don't know what do you call it. It comes out. The flowers come outward. It's like raised or embossed yeah. glass. But it's really cute, and, the, and it has the matching flowers on the cup. And it looks like that. I just love this thing. It's so adorable. Perfect for the bedside tequila. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I believe that's called a tumble up. Tumble up. It's about seven inches tall. Except the glass is too small for tequila. No, it's not. <laughs> it's bigger than a shot glass. But it's super cute. And it's tw uh, $26 and it's number 37. And this would I be like a little rosette. 
if you had guests too, this in a guest room, I think would be gorgeous. Oh yes. And I thought even putting it by your bathroom sink as well, but you know, what do you need water sitting there when you got the faucet, right? But we yeah. Mouthwash. Oh, there. oh, your scope. There you mouthwash. go. Pour your mouthwash in there. And I see Helen Booty for number 37. Congratulations, Helen. And hello, Dee from Thrill. Thank you, Jeff. Helen. Hi, Dee. Glad to see you. So, next I have this, um, this book. I keep it in this bag. It's a 1927 Let's see. Yeah, 1927's book is called um, Vacation Book. It's in great shape. I need to read that. Vacation Book? Yeah. Let's see. Is it in great? No, nope, I'm lying. The, it's been a while since I've taken it out. The, the, spot, the spine is off of it. The hard piece. But the but the papers are all intact. I don't remember. Is there any bad pages in here? I don't think there was. It kind of looks like newspaper pieces. But cool yeah. graphics. It looks like an old newspaper. But vacation days. The spine is detached from it, though. So, but it's 1927. I thought it was pretty cool. And the graphic on it on the outside, the only colored piece. And then the date. But I don't know. I forgot that the binding was off of it, but I have it for eighteen dollars, number forty-two, for this nineteen twenty-seven, nineteen twenty-seven, yeah, book. That is amazing. That even though it's got a little issue on the spine, it's still in great shape for being as old as it is. Yeah, I don't know if you can if that's real. I mean, can you reattach those things? Yeah, look at it. Yeah, it looks like oh, it. Because exactly. all the papers are, re I mean, still attached. Which is just amazing. I love that cover, though. Yeah, the graphics are to die for. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome. And everybody else just popping in. Linda and other folks, thanks for joining us tonight. Next, I'm going to have... Now, I... I have this tapestry, tap, can I say it right? Tapestry, tapestry, tapestry purse. It's in great condition. The lady told me this was Bakelite. I did not test it, but she said they were Bakelite. Uh, the bottom looks good. That's my, my tag. And, and I like how it flips to open. It flips underneath, you know, under one another. And then it has all these pockets. It's a little snap pocket, a zipper pocket, and then another side pocket. I think it does have, yeah, it does have one ink problem on the inside there of the of this side pocket, but it doesn't come through. You don't see it. But it's still there. Mm -hmm. Like an ink. Fountain pen user. I like it. So, <laughs> zipper and this snaps open so i was going to do this as a flat price unless anybody's interested in wanting to want me to do an offer up on it but oh, other what? than that i would just throw down throw down <laughs> other than that i'm going to do a flat price but these are supposed to be big light it's what the lady told me but can you tell how big it is I thought it was so cute. I uh, would make a light. We're going to do this for $24. Let's 
and it's number 40. And Myla is saying that hairspray helps with ink on fabric. I did not know that. It's a great tip there. Well, I, this would be hard to get out. Um, yes, I've heard that. I I don't know about ink. I didn't know about ink, but it also does it for color. Because I'm a hairdresser and we got color on our shirt. You instantly put hairspray on it. It's supposed to keep it from sitting so you can wash it out. So, oh, yeah. Clever. Just word it down with hairspray. But I didn't know it worked for ink, too. I say keep the ink stain. Yes, it adds to its character, I think. Well, it's inside that last pocket and it's hard to get to. Said, oh, yeah, that was from my Parker 61. <laughs> <laughs> Parker 61s are great pens. Uh, yes, uh, I have a friend of mine who says it was the first smart pen because it just draws the ink for you. First smart pen. <laughs> I like that. Hello, Daniel and Pamela and Diane and Sabrina. Hi, guys. Glad to see y'all here. Here I have what is this called? Enamel? I think it's enamel. It's enamel uh, teapot. I love the mushrooms on it. The handle, mushrooms on that side. It's in real good condition. I have an oak sticker on here. Now, the only flaw with this is, and it has the the little hose for the for the spout. It has a wooden handle, but look at the handle. It's been beat up a little bit, so it's been rough up. I don't know if it's been gnawed on. Or it what. looks like uh, Louie. Louie had a little fun. <laughs> Louie got a hold of this teapot. But it's still very strong attached, you know, it's not broken, but it's very scuffed up. And I don't know if you probably can sand that out and then maybe even restain it. It will smooth out. That would be very easy to fix. I just don't know about the grids because there's grids in this on the top. <clears throat> so, of course, that does add to its character. Yeah, <laughs> but I love the mushrooms. I just love those. This is so cute. I'm going to have it. What do I do? See, I keep losing things. I have it for $14 and it's number nine. For my little mushroom enamel teapot. Short and stout. Pour me over and pour me out. Tip me over and pour me out. Man, I'm behind on my nurse. I don't know my rhymes. <laughs> and I see Anita for number nine. Congratulations, Anita. And yes, thanks for sending your info. So if you are new or you are buying something tonight, make sure you send an email to Tammy at the email address on the screen. We need your PayPal email, your name, your YouTube name, and your mailing address. Thank you, Annette. Anita. Thank you, Anita. Now, I was supposed to have this in my last week's sale, but it was so small, I just passed right by it. This and a brooch I had. Totally forgot it. But look at this. It's a little um, poodle pill box. Come on, focus. Get off of David. Get out of my picture, David. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a little pill box. I thought that was so cute. Now, I don't understand the handle, though. Why the handle? Do you? Do you know why there would be a handle? Well, why that's there. What do you think, Martha? Mm, I would say to get it out of your pocket easier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's quite possible. Or maybe it was part of a keychain that's missing. You know, it would hook into one of those uh, keychains that has the button you can press you know oh oh yeah okay. yeah maybe so really cute it's just an adorable little poodle schnuda mm -hmm. now i won't focus again okay anyway it's uh he is 16 dollars and he's number two there is he is he focused now it was david 
Now, while you're thinking of that, call me Mr. 80s, but I saw the Karate Kid use this in Karate Kid 2. <laughs> Maybe not. Got to love the Karate Kid movies. Okay, uh, my, crochet, my crochet blanket, which we called, called the Rosanna blanket. You want to get this for me? Sure. We call it the Rosanna blanket that sat on the back of her couch, the Afghan. It's a 50 by 63, 50 by 63 in length. And it's nice, vibrant colors. There's nothing wrong with it that I saw. It looks like the Partridge family bus to me. <laughs> I mean, because the color is so bright. Come on, get happy. It does. It looks like a happy blanket. It All is. It's very colorful. colorful. It's your typical uh, granny squares. It trimmed in the black. I just love that. I but love the cozy blankets. Where they tied them. They had the little string where she didn't like finish cutting it off. But I mean, those are where it's been tied off from making the granny squares. But it has all these bright, vibrant colors. And it does. You can call it your Rosanna or your Partridge family. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, $28, number 50. And it's 50 by 63. So how many feet is that? Oh, boy. That's just, over four feet, just over four feet by 63? Uh-huh. Four by five. About a four by five. Vinny? The Partridge Family was a television show in the 1970s that starred <laughs> Shirley Jones and David Cassidy. You and need to look it up. Susan it's really Day. You, gotta watch the you would say Susan, Susan Day. Day. Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> and I see Diane Broderick for number 50. Congratulations, Diane. And Vinny, you've got evening homework now. Go watch The Partridge Family. <laughs> I barely even watch them myself. Oh, sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it, but I, I, I hardly got to watch it. I didn't get to watch much TV growing Tim, up. Tim was too busy doing chores. <laughs> yeah. My life was chores growing up. So if you can tell this, this is a little glass fish with his colors, the yellow and the red and what, green or blue? Blue stripe in him. Oh, little fish. Mm -hmm. him better. Ah, ah. I think he's a clownfish. What do you got? Oh, there we go, yeah. He's, he looks very good. He's very, can you see that, um, like speckly paint on the inside like that? You Is he solid thing? glass? Yeah. Very he's nice. Fit. He's kind of heavy. Um, I don't get how they do that, put that color on the inside, and it's a flat bottom. Yeah, they ground it off. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's a, this little glass dish. I don't know much about him other than that. There's no marks on him, no nothing. He's just cute. His fins have got the grids in it, you know, where you see his fins, uh, the lines in his fins. He's going to be $18 and he's number 17. Look, gas fish. Clownfish? I think clownfish, usually orange. But the shape of it. The, the shape I just was, was thinking was a clownfish. I don't know my animals all that well. <laughs> yeah, me neither do I. I have to show and tell. So we were on the Partridge family, but. And. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, Betty, that's you uh, I have Partridge Family Records, too. Look, there's, there's the blanket right there. It looks like the bus. I see what there's he's talking about now. I forgot what the bus looked like. There's your blanket. What a great record. Hey, by the time I finish my glass or get down a little bit, I got something in my glass. Do you see it? Dunna, dunna, dunna. <laughs> Is it a little is shark? Dun, 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 there dun, we go. Dun. That's the noise I'm trying to make. <laughs> the noise I'm trying to make. And uh, I see Dee saying that she's got a few of those albums. 
She's got some of those albums? Yes, or had a few. Hey, you need to listen to his records more. I got this. A uh, little bud base. Nice green colors. Christy, this record is not for sale. <laughs> Really cute little vase, and it's, I, and I don't know, it might be a project piece. I think it's a project piece. Yeah, because it says door C on the bottom. I think they just did that uh, drip. Drip place. It's got pretty popular. So, and it's a, uh, let's see how tall this is. Six inches tall. Little drip glaze, green bud vase. It is $12 and it's number 20. Great colors on that vase. Yeah, I love that. Um, in between that sky blue to green. Yeah. Very they pretty. did a good job on that. They really did. Yeah. I hide my paper back in here. And then I have this cute little guy. He's so cute. I need an egg. It's an egg. Uh, that is not an egg cup. Egg is an egg cup. That's huge. I mean, that would be a large egg, but it makes sense. I, I think eggs would have to go in there. If it's not an egg cup, I don't know what it is. That, I feel sorry for that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Japan piece. It has Japan on the bottom there. Uh, little, cute little Aussie man. I guess it, yeah. I guess it's a little old man. He's showing some skin. Is that his belly button? I'm not even gonna entertain belly button. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Benny! Don't say nothing. I don't. I, it might not be. <laughs> Maybe it's a woman. It's um, a goose egg, ostrich egg, or jumbo egg size. <laughs> no, I'm on my. I'm on live. I got another child coming in here. Um, what is it? Where is my? He is, regardless whatever he is, he he holds some kind of egg looking thing, <laughs> and he is eight dollars, number thirteen. Hi, Uncle Andy. He's a cutie. He is. God bless the chickens pumping out those eggs. <laughs> I mean, it's not ostrich eggs, but come on. That's a big <laughs> I can't egg. Imagine what those poor ostriches go through. <laughs> Here I have, um, say this, uh, it's a Altigari. Is that Altigari? Altigari? Altigari, yeah. Altigari. Mugs. It says on the, on the bottom, this sticker. And there's a little township. They're the same, just painted a different colors. And they have the back door house, um, window and door, back door. Now those look like the painted ladies in San Francisco. And isn't that where Otagiri was? Girl. Do they have a place in San Francisco? <laughs> I know you're not asking me that question. No, I the painted right. ladies were the houses in San Francisco, and that's the townhouses, like from um, that show with Candace Cameron. Oh, yeah, well, I know what you're talking about. Where yeah. it's multiple. Yeah, they're those but, are really cute, like that. I, the little does it go up a hill too? Yes, yes. Hill, yes. And I forgot the name of the park in San Francisco, but yes, you see them uh, in. Um, a couple of TV shows as well in the intro. Yeah. Row House. Yeah. And they're in Full House, like Vinny's saying. You see them in the intro to Full House. Good Full point, House. Vinny. That's it. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> For the two of these, I'm going to $15. And it's number 23. Yes. Thank you, Uncle Andy. Yes. Golden Gate Park is where they're Golden across. Golden Gate Park. If those sell, I'll print out a picture of John Stamos and roll it into one of the cups. <laughs> John Stamos then or John Stamos now? 
One in Does each cat. <laughs> One in each cat. <laughs> I, I, I would love to look like John Stamos now. <laughs> Do I have any turtle lovers here? Oh, he's a happy little turtle. It's a little turtle planner with a top hat. He's fancy. <laughs> he's really cute. He is a uh, six inches tall. He's putting on the ritz. He is putting on the ritz. He is. His little turtle shell. Now, his little black hat has some paint loss on it. But other than that, he's in good condition. That feels like it might be a little nick there. But he looks great. Other than his little hat. But he's cute, is he not? I love him with his little top hat and bow tie. And he looks good with his little greenery coming out of his shell. He, he has is. a tipsy smile. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he is $16 and he is number 22. He looks like he's up to something. Yes. He has he got bow tie on. That's a bow tie. I know what that is. Hi, Dean and Gabrielle at Book Bewitch and all of our wonderful friends popping in the chat. Hi, guys. Let's see. Oh, I have a, a little brooch tonight. It is an iridescent horse pin. Oh, isn't he great? He's kind of, um, his head uh, tilts outward, so. Oh, my gosh. But he's really cool looking. It's the colors, he changes reflections, I mean, on in his colors. I don't know what color he is. I don't know what you would call it. It's though. A rainbow effect. Yeah, yeah. And he's a... He's almost almost two inches wide, about a a, um, a little over an inch tall. So, yes, it is. It's kind of carnival glass colors, D. Yeah, yeah, that's a good example. But he's really cute looking. So kind of neat. He's got some weight to him too. And he is fourteen dollars, and he is number one. Him. Anyways, and he's really cute. He got a got some weight to that. And I see Belinda Carroll for number one. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, Belinda. And here we have a, another little planner. Now, my little um, thingies are too wide. I mean, too tall for this but make a little planner it has a it's really thin it's like an inch wide and it's five inches five inches wide and an about an inch tall an inch and a half tall but it has the little rose white i mean yellow flower See, I can't talk. I get so tongue twisted. I'm trying to say words. Darn words. Darn words. Get in my way. <laughs> yeah, speaking and writing and English is hard. <laughs> and so this is, I see where it's a project piece. It's made by Catherine Hallmark. Hallmark in 2000. Or I don't know if that's, it looks only like maybe three numbers. Yeah, I'm sure. And it's, it's going to be eight dollars for this cute little piece, and it's uh, number twenty-eight. Well, Catherine, you did a good job. I think it's really cute. That'd be cute with succulents in it. I'm surprised my daughter hasn't seen it. Although all of her succulents have died, she's got to start over. <laughs> that would be me. I can't. I can't keep even air plants alive. <laughs> 
I'd, I haven't tried air plants, but I'd probably kill them too. But the winter killed all of hers. So she had a, and not the winter, that code spell we had. And I see Debbie Spiker for number 28. Congratulations, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. And here I have this cute little mini marker stamp set that would go great for teachers because it, it has little dog, it's, um, uh, what do you call it, where you stamp the children's uh, paper saying they did good or very neat or they did perfect, watch your spelling, incomplete. Really cute. I love the graphics on this. Now, their little stamps. Oh, that's fun for grading. And they're like an inch by um, one by one inch. It looks like, there we go. And I guess the, oh, it just says what, what it is. I don't have the picture of it, but. And then all the stamps have little doggies on it. Yeah, if you have an ink pad at home, that's yeah. great fun to leave uh, let your toddler play with it while you leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> be great. Yeah, great. Yeah, your white couch may not be so white. In the white couch with your white carpet. Awesome. That's what's on the stamps. And your Parker 61. Watch your spelling is the one I was holding up. It was super cute. I love it. So let's see, where is it? It's a teacher set stamp doggy stamper from the 70s. <coughs> it is number eight. I mean, it's $18 for number 31. That is just darling. <laughs> I wanted to keep them and put them on my little, what is it? Stamp fair? Uh, stamp, what's the name of my little stand? The carousel. And those, stamper stand. But it's, it's called something. The stamp the carousel? Yeah, the carousel. Yeah. I wanted to keep them and put them on that, but I'll pass them along because I don't even know why I'm keeping my little stamp holder. I'm collecting stamp I love holders. stamp carousels. I have one and they're really fun. <laughs> I have one. I don't know why I have it. It's out there in my... Day, I get that a lot. So I don't know. I think I have a Southern accent. Hmm? Wait a minute. He has more of an accent than I do? No, they, they're wondering why I don't have a southern Oh, okay. Accent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, people in Texas have a different accent. <laughs> maybe because I've taught around so many different accents that I don't have one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and no, Greg, I'm not selling tonight. I'm just here to announce winners and hang out. I with could them. sound like, go see Cal and, like, you know, sell some used cars. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, watch it. I resemble that remark. <laughs> she resembles that remark. <laughs> they used to go see her cow. Go see cow. <laughs> go see Martha. <laughs> go see Martha. Here I have this little trinket dish. It is um, six and a half inches long. And at its fattest point is four and a half inches there. And it's got horses on it. More horsies. Little trinket dish. And who did you say this was by, David? You looked it up. It was, it did no, have No, it, it's partial, very similar to. Partial Japan sticker there. Yeah. Or you didn't find it. No, I couldn't find anything on that, but there's a similar print, um, some type of Picasso art print that's similar to that style. But. Mark Bell Air does a style like that too. It's a little trinket dish but it's pretty pretty cool <laughs> and it is twelve dollars and it's number 39. you could put your glasses in that too i think yeah right? it's that, it's the that door. Right. There you. yeah it does gabrielle look like picasso horses and um yes and martha had mentioned another artist as well hi david at toledo antiques welcome Hi, David. Hi, Uncle Andy. Hi, Gabalicious. I'm seeing people come in I didn't see before. Dean, yeah, did I say hi to you? Gabalicious. <laughs> <laughs> Here uh, I have this. Uh, it's a four by six picture frame. Gabe, 
Gabrielle has a new name, Gabalicious. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> it's a number one baby frame photo. Really cute. And this is a little plastic piece that you slide your picture in. And this is um, not exactly ceramic, but some kind of, um, it, what is that? I don't know. So, like a, some kind of plastic. An acrylic? Yeah, like an, some kind of acrylic. But it has a duck in there, a little bear. It's cute. Number one for your baby. And on the back has a little star and has a little felt bottom. A little cute picture baby frame. Put your, put your picture in there when you were one. And it's uh, going to be $6 and it's number 34. That is very cute. It would make a great gift to the baby shower. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm proud of American. Vintage purse. Picture frame. You have any more vintage purses, Tammy, tonight? Yes, I do. Awesome. Well, stay tuned, Gabrielle. I have I have a box purse coming up. Now, give me that. Here we have um, bookends of... Um, what kind of clock is this? Um, grandfather clock? Yeah, grandfather clock. And it's a pen holder. It holds a pen. Give me another pen. Where'd my pen go? Perfect. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's not the pen I had in here, but it holds a pen. And they're little bookends. And it has a little felt bottom. Uh, and it has Japan on the ends here. I'm sorry, but these are worthy of nicer pens. <laughs> oh, look at those beauties. So black on black, it needs to be a black pen with the gold. Two nice little shapers there. Grow, um, gold uh, outline to match. <laughs> oh, those are so classy. So these are about um, five inches tall for these. Uh, Bookends. Let me see my paper. Nope. It is. They are eighteen dollars. Uh, number nineteen. Okay, y'all. Now look, there's seventy people watching and only fifty-three thumbs up. So there's a big problem with that. We gotta thumbs up some more, folks. Give me some thumbs. Give me thumbs. And look at that. They look like they're sitting on books. That looks like a like a book on the bottom of it. Those are just great. Super cute. Okay. And I did all that over there. Mm -hmm. And I see Joni Renshaw for number 19. Congratulations, Jody. Thank you, Jody. Here I have a vinyl bag. Um, did I put the paper in here? Yes, I did. Kind of fun. I love this retro flowery makeup bag. So 60s. Yes. I just, I love these colors. And it, it opens up that wide. I'm trying to make it stay open here. And it has a little snap. Great colors. It's a, it's a nine by a six and a half little vinyl bag. Super fun and great shape. No, no rips. It looks good. I love these colors. Just love that. I would love to have my whole room done in these bright flowers. Do Wouldn't it. You? Do it. <laughs> and Sue was saying that she thinks it's to put your wet bathing suit in. Oh. Oh. And I thought it was a makeup bag. It could be whatever you want it to be, of course. <laughs> But it, it's $13 and it's number 44. 
I love it. I love these colors. So very magpie ethel too if you guys follow mm. magpie ethel on I oh yes i love that about. lady <laughs> me too and i see joanne precious lavender buttons for number 44. whoops i'm so sorry folks christina taylor got in there ahead uh so yeah, christina, christina i'm sorry you get number 44. <laughs> now here i have a tablecloth I love these colors, more green with the little teapots and dishes and stuff on it. Um, it's a square tablecloth. The pink's a little bit of baby blue, pink, and um, green. So it's a, and here's the center, what the center looks like. Now, I think there was yeah, there is one spot right here. I haven't tried to laundry it, but there's a just a little spot right there. Oh, this <laughs> Shut up. Well, your centerpiece is going to cover that up. So, mm -hmm. but I mean, it may come out. I just haven't tried it. But other than that, it looks really good. I, I just love it. I love these colors. Yeah, and that well, that just looks. That looks like it'll come out too. I see a dirty spot there, it looks like. This has been in my storage, so I, I've had it a while because I contemplate on keeping it, but I never put out a tablecloth and I don't have a square table to put it on. So. She's going to whack me, so I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. David, she's going to take out one of the eyes someday. <laughs> <laughs> so this tape, vintage tablecloth is going to be $14 and it's number 48. And uh, Myla is saying that she uses LA's Totally Awesome Spray from Dollar Tree to get stains out. Really? From the Dollar Tree? I that. I always use Biz or Fells Napatha. I may have to try that though. Yes, definitely always like to do tricks and tips. Okay, this is the next purse I have. Little box purse house. Now, now darling. I can do this as a flat price or I can do this as a throwdown. What do y'all want to do? Do I have more than one person interested? All right, folks, let us know. Would you like a Texas throwdown or a buy it now price? Okay, Gabriella is saying offer. Vinny saying throwdown. <laughs> of course, Vinny would. <laughs> he wants to put his one cent in. <laughs> and Lance say, uh, Martha is the third voice you're hearing, vintage conversation. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start this um, purse at $25. Okay, let me type this up in the chat, folks, just a minute. It's eight inches by five and a half inches and six and a half tall at its highest peak. So, and it has little, that you call it house scenes, I guess. And we are off to the races, folks. And it has this uh, black um, plastic handle. See the knob? It has, see the hinges there? And the little, it's a lock latch. And then it has the print on the inside. Yeah, just on the three sides. Ah. Really cute. Start is in the chat. So you can start at $25, folks. So it's $25 if you want it, or if somebody else wants it, y'all can just, I'm giving you the chance for somebody else to get it. But other than that, it's $25. Or you can duke it out with somebody. 
Yes, Texas Throwdown. <laughs> And I see Gabrielle Liz starting us off at $25. $25 is now the number to beat in the chat if you would like this fabulous purse. You know, that would be great for your granddaughter's uh, special dolls and treats, too, as a secret box. Oh, oh yeah. Martha. It's a pretty box. <laughs> and it's not hoarding if we put it in a pretty box. <laughs> Okay. So she's the only one interested. All right, Gabrielle, I think uh, we're going to start calling it. Is that right? Yeah, that's fine. If nobody is okay. interested. Going once to Gabrielle, going twice to Gabrielle, and sold to Gabrielle Lish for $25. Congratulations, Gabrielle. Thank you, Gabrielle. Gabrielicious. Gabrielicious. Okay. Gabrielicious. <laughs> And here I have this paper mache piggy. It feels heavier than a paper mache though. I was looking to see if there's a, does he look like he's been broken? Has he been busted out? I don't know if he's been broken if that's a repair that looks like it might have been repair you know i'm gonna take this out i mean i didn't know he was broken it's not broken on the bottom but it looks like it's been cracked anyways let's see okay i have some ephemera ephemera and can i say that word you got it <laughs> Ephemery, Ephemera. Here we go. For junk journaling or what have you. Here's the thickness of it. I'm going to try to run through this real quick. We have, we have an old photo. We have some cards. I love that one a player card coming soon as a little invite it has this envelope we have some um, old advertising pieces have uh, old um, what is this um, cupcake um, like a jello thing um, hmm. from jello it's a cupcake I don't know that'd be awfully small for Cupcake mix or whatever it was There's in a it. Half cup. Maybe a mini like easy bake like for a toy kitchen, maybe. Oh, okay. Then we have um, some old um, uh, advertising, advertising. postcard, birthday card, some. Well, this isn't a postcard. It was more of a five by seven print kind of thing. What is that? Oh, that is a Holly Hobby Lobby uh, postcard that folds Holly up. Hobby. Holly Hobby. <laughs> Hobby <Lobby. laughs> and these are um, also um, greeting cards or whatever. I haven't, I don't remember. I haven't read them. I don't, I don't know. This is a uh, 56 reunion kind of thing and then here's an old pattern print to do a baby for your junk journaling the old book pieces hardcover books be good for your covers for your book and some paper and then we have the uh, to you pay um was it birthday yeah, it looks like all birthday tags and some gift wrapping paper, cats, um, and some stationery, blue stationery, and what is this? Two pieces of music paper. 
and cool graphics on the top. There's four sheets here, but I mean it's two pieces that open that open up. So you got two of those. And the graphics on them. So, anyways, all that. And there's over 20 pieces here, and I just dropped one. It is for this junk journal and stuff. Sixteen dollars, number forty-five. What a great lot! And guys, if you are are wanting to sign up for Michelle's junk journaling class whenever she has that, if you get this lot, you'll be ready to go. <laughs> so, I have that. I'll put that back together later. <laughs> Here I have this home code. This um. I had the two small roses and I sold that a while back and then I come across this. This is a, um, from, I think it was Home Co. Uh, rose wall plat. Kind of Hollywood Regency like. The white roses and this stands 21 inches tall and it's about 10 inches wide. But a super cool, real big rose plaque here. Um, it is $27 and it's number 46. That is really pretty. And I, I think above a bed, that would just look lovely. I wish I still had the two smaller ones. Christina is saying, why do I always love the big, heavy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's tall. It's not really heavy. It's made of plastic. So it's from the 70s. And is it Home Interior, is Uncle Andy's asking? It's home Co. Is Home Co. Home Interior? Was that Home Interior? No. Home? No, that's different. I think it was its own. Yeah, yeah, I think they're different. And it said 70, 19, did I write it? Yeah, 1973 is on it. And then I have that's over here. The this homemade oh. felt doll. Someone spent a lot of time on her. And she's she's got earrings. They they put they bejeweled her, they braided her hair, they got jewels on her, they made her clothes. Super cute, her little feet have jewels i have a few of these she's got jewels right here but i thought i'd bring this out and see how that goes but i love that she has earrings that's so cute she's uh 10 inches tall super cute uh felt doll she's handmade and what did i just do with her here it is and she's ten dollars and she's number 30. she don't have a mouth it don't look like but nope she wants I'll to be the video of this. how they do this how they poke the needle and form in them needle felting's hard work yeah super cute though she's super cute ten dollars number 30. Now, I have this, um, it says paint without paint, but that's not what's inside. Um, I love the graphics, though. Love these graphics. Now, this is going to be um, a throwdown, and it's going to be starting at $16. All right, let me type this into the chat. There is a whole lot in here. They're paper dolls. They're super cool. So there's, I don't, I'm not even sure how many of these paper dolls are in here. And we are off to the races. There's so many in here, the paper dolls. Let's see. There's some Those are going to be great for assemblages and vignettes for all your holidays. Now they're not all, 
all the dolls are in perfect shape because like here's her hand it was taped on but her hands there and that was taped on but it's ripped off not all the dolls are <laughs> I thought I'm moonstruck sorry <laughs> and a big baby <laughs> oh those babies cute. look at him <laughs> there's like I said, not all of them are like, look at her neck. Like they you, tape them together. That's why it's so dark because it's old tape. You tape a straw, a drinking straw to their backs and that makes their neck stand up again. Makes them nice and stiff. Oh, that's clever, Martha. But there, here, here's some more of the paper dolls. Some of them are thin, real thin paper. And then, then we have some that are kind of cardboard thick. Cardstock. Real thick cardstock. I, so I don't know how many things. dolls that was. That was a lot of dolls. And then here's all the clothes. Lots of clothes. Like I said, I had a few of these very ones that you've got. And there are some fabulous outfits in there. How fun, Martha. Great memories. So... And I see Joe just laughing. I'm going to run through all 16? of uh, Tammy's fabric and see if she has this fabric. <laughs> so she she probably does. Pants. It's Wonder Bread <laughs> fabric. <laughs> I'd rock those pants. But there and were several dolls, several, several of the paper clothes. I mean, it's, it's packed. And I got two of these boxes. So and I see Tammy Renee Walker at 17. Joanne Precious Lavender Buttons is out. And Belinda Carroll's in at 20. So thank you guys for letting me know when you're out. That's a big help. 20 is now the number to beat in the chat. You got to beat Belinda Carroll if you want these fabulous paper dolls. Look, it's brother and sister. They're twinsies. Little twins. How mm. cute. Junk I mean, journaling and collages. These, oh. are, these are the tall ones. These are big ones. They're and then we have babies. the little baby, I mean, smaller ones. Those are the big ones. And here's a few of the smaller ones. Tammy is out. Thank you, Tammy. All right, Belinda Carroll is now a person to beat. I think everyone else is out. Shall we start calling it? Look at that sweater. Yes, go ahead. All right, going once to Belinda Carroll. Can't be going like a, twice to Belinda Carroll and sold to Belinda Carroll for $20. Thanks, Belinda. Thank you, Belinda. Hi, Yvonne. That was a lot to go through. <laughs> um, here. Look at that little ceramic head. It's um, uh, it's vintage and it was uh, I saw a date on here. Did I write the date down? Oh, there it is. Seventy nine from nineteen seventy nine. This um, girl head bus bus. Did I say that right? Bus. Is that how you say it? You think he was a store display for like hats and such? Well, I've seen, I looked them up and there's several online and they were calling them bookshelf decorations. Um, I don't know if it was a store di display. It seemed like a thing because I've seen a few of them online. Well, she, she would be great just on a vanity, I think. Yeah. She's, she's, just under seven. Just under seven inches tall. I mean, they, I mean, I'm holding her with my hand. I mean, she's taking up my whole hand. Her little bun, really cute. It's. I don't know what they were really used for, other if they were just decorations or what. She's got those blue eyes. Really pretty. And she's in great condition. Let's see. And. And Christina, just email Tammy about that and she'll let you know. 
what? Can you tell me about what? She was asking about other paper dolls, and okay. uh, I said just to email you, and that way yeah. you can work it out. So, yeah, just email me. Um, where this is going to be twenty four dollars, and it's number twenty nine. Yeah, face. She's like staring into your soul. <laughs> she is She's stare at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of cool. I thought she was cool. She's she, very cool, but I still don't know I'd want to. She can see own. what Martha's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Here I have these Josie 1967 Josie girl girl pictures. And they're in a nice wooden frame. I, I love that little ballerina and her hair and her curlers. Look at that. Oh, those are sweet. Super cute. And it, you know, it's signed, you know, got the signature and the date down here. I had to blow it up with my phone. And then the little cowgirl. She's super sweet. These are um, four by, I mean, um, five by seven size. And they have the wire and the metal hook on there already, metal wire ready to hang. Um, I think in a girl's room, these would just be adorable. Five by eight. It says five by eight on the back. I don't know what that information is. Probably just a stock. Yeah. It must be old stock that's written on here, but. It has their name printed on the bottom, but I just, I just, those are adorable. It has the name Lambert on the back, Lambert. But it says, it's, it says Miss um, Josie, mm -hmm. and I can't read that now. I had to take a picture of it and blow it up with my phone. Right there. And it, the date's on it, 67. So for the both of these. And they're five by eight in the frame. Is that glass? That's glass. Yeah. Um, for twenty dollars for the set, number thirty-two. I think in a little girl's room or granddaughter's room that these would just be darling. Oh, definitely. I should hang them in my granddaughter's room. They're very cute. She's forever rearranging her room. <laughs> okay, then I have. Now these are super cute. <laughs> the doll's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. Are these poodles? The hair flipping poodles. Poodles or maybe, uh, no, I think they're poodles. With their little bows in their hair. These are the salt and pepper shakers. And then we have Mama Poodle, who is a napkin holder. And these are such a cute little set. Little. Oh, Bichon Frise. Yeah, I think so too, Benny. Bichon yeah, Frise. I think so. Yeah, that makes sense. What? Bichon yeah. Frise. The dog. Oh. Did I put that backwards? Let's see. I don't know what this, who is that on there? Well, Carrie, I was going to say Shih Tzus, but I'm not sure. They're whatever doggy you want them to be. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute with their little bow in their hair. Can you read it? No. <laughs> so this little salt and pepper shaker in the napkin holder uh, for this set is going to be $22.00 number 11 it has a label on it and i can't read it he's trying to read it you can't read it either <laughs> and it don't want to focus he's having to blow it up sean's saying they are cats in disguise and carrie's saying okay well then they're great days <laughs> <laughs> they're cute i think they're adorable you and tony 
Of course, this is out of focus. <laughs> Anyways, they have their original stickers on there. Well, folks, I'm sorry to leave you, but this is where I leave you. I will have a guest in the green, green room soon, so I'm going to have to let you all go. But it was fun, and thank you so much, Tammy. Good luck with the rest of your sale. And I'll thank see you, Katie. Quickly. And we'll see you in a little Bye, bit. Katie. Bye, guys. Bye, Katie. Now, here I have a, a kitty cat matchbox holder. The wooden, and I, I had one of these before, and oh, uh, I want to say they were from the 60s, but I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I had the other one since I looked it up, but look at the cat. You put your big matchbox in there and you pull them out here, and you're supposed to be able to mark it on this, uh, light it on the side here. I thrift it's, you. The, uh. Oh, perky lips. But it, let's see how tall it is. It is ten and a half inches tall. Little matchbox holder. The last one I had was green, all green, a green cat. So, and this matchbox um, cat is going to be twenty-five dollars, and it's number twenty-one. Super cute. Are we Sam or Sarah? <laughs> Hi. Turn it around. Okay. Carrie, that's what I thought she said too. Pull out your Big Mac. <laughs> Here I have this um, uh, Japanese. What do you call it? Um, Oriental uh, oval platter from R.H. Macy and Company. And if you look, these dots, the paint, all this is raised. You can feel the dots. The, the paint is raised on it. The blue is even kind of raised on it. Is it the blue? I think that's the Moriyagi, isn't it? When it's raised like that. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, all of it's raised. The, the flower, yeah, all this is raised. It's really pretty. The Like a little Japanese garden, the bird. There's a bird on it. And it's a, a 10 by 12 platter, decorative platter, and it has the, the markings on the back here. Not that I can read that Chinese thing, and this is all faded. The, this looks like it's crazed. Well, if it says R.H. Macy, you know, it's probably older, you know, so. And they they had a lot of things brought in special. I think it's just a beautiful platter. Of course, I don't think it's a something you would actually use for eating off of. I'll try it tomorrow. Yeah. No, I believe that's decorative. Yeah little garden scene on it but this is going to be fourteen dollars and it's number 38. i think it's pretty cool all those colors and and all those yeah this is pretty cool that's beautiful it would mix in with any of your noritake stuff too oh I that's think beautiful I my chosky dolls that uh I'm collecting. Yeah. <laughs> I call them Chosky dolls. <laughs> so $14, number 38 there. And, okay, here I have a pillow. Now, I collect vintage fabric. I have tons of vintage fa fabric. The, um, a lot of the, Chanel old bedspreads that were ripped up that were cutting that were cutting and I had bought a, I gotten a whole bunch of these little squares um, That were already put together of vintage fabric So everything on here is vintage 
Tammy, that's beautiful. You did a great job. You made that yourself? I made this. I got all that vintage fabric. And I've been wanting to make pillows. I want to make a bunch of pillows. You know, I just love different watching Pinterest. I just got so many ideas and I got the fabric for it. I made it a pocket where you slip your pillow out to wash when need be. And it's lined in the um, Chanel on both. But all of this is vintage. Everything in it but the pillow, I guess. And it's a feather down pillow. Now I can ship it with or without the pillow to make it lighter. But uh, it's a 20, I think this is a yeah, 20 by 20 pillow case. So. Man, if you collect quilts or you use quilts or any type of vintage bedding, you need I have a hard time like cutting that. stuff up, but yeah. I, I'll bet. <laughs> if it's already ripped up, then okay, I can do it. But um but these were already in little squares. All right, you know, the little I got a bunch of stack of them, so I've been wanting to do stuff with and even some of my vintage fabric I I have trouble trying to cut up. <laughs> That's called a nine patch. <laughs> Because it has nine, nine squares. Yeah, because yeah, it has nine squares. So very cute. I love I love these flowers, the red and that and all. So it's a 20 by 20 pillow. Jana, send her an email and tell her what you would like. She may have fabric that she can do that for you, possibly. What? Do what? I'm She's it. she wishes you had one in aqua or pink. <gasps> I funny you mentioned that. Come to my cell tomorrow at Miss uh, Pam's. I got a bigger pillow, and it's um, is it aqua? Is it more of a teal looking color? I can give you a sneak peek. So this is going to be twenty four dollars for this one. It's a twenty by twenty, twenty four dollars, and it's number forty nine. I can give you a sneak peek. All right, actually, I'm going to be posting that pillow tomorrow or tonight or tomorrow for my tomorrow sale. Actually, there might be already a picture of it. I think Christy posted one. Ah, Jenna, you'll need to come to the sale then. And it's a bigger one. It's a little bit bigger. I think it's a 24 by 24. I don't know how I got it bigger. I just got carried away on keeping everything. Oh, okay. So we have two more items left. Tell me what time is your sale tomorrow night real quick? at seven on um on miss pounds seven eastern on miss pounds channel miss pound pamela blancher and tina with a a vision and vintage, vintage coat. coat yes vintage and vintage coat i need that in front of me to read it <laughs> so here what do i have this Um, we're going to do a, a throw down for a deer planner and I'm going to put it in the chats. We're going to start it at. Um, You'll be do it, Tammy. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, we start started at $16. This at uh, deer yellow deer planner. It is six inches tall and about five inches wide and okay folks we're throwing down We've got Belinda Carroll at $16 coming out the gate my sticks are too long for him <laughs> but he has a I love those eyes Red nose and red um, eyes. Little bit Joanne at 18. He's so cute. I love this yellow. Just He just stands out so well. He's going to look good at, in the fall, at Christmas especially. Those red eyes. He needs a green bow. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yep. He does need a bow on him. He needs a bow. So I wonder, as you know, people that collect planners, you know, any of y'all out there, 
do y'all actually put plants in them or you know something like this do you would you just use it for a decorative piece i mean or do you still put a plant in it because you know i always wondered about that because you know there's no hole to drain i use yeah. mine for artificial plants yeah artificial plants i can that's what i need to live by is artificial plants I kill my plants. Oh, you could plants. make such a cute assemblage with that. Oh, that would be so cute. Uh, speaking of um, vintage relics, got hers today, and she sent me a, a Instagram saying that she received it. Okay, we're at 18. Is anybody going to challenge Miss Joanne for this beautiful deer planter? You can go ahead and start counting down. I think I only saw two people in there. Oh, no. Oh, Anita's at 20. Joanne, you got a challenger. She's throwing down <laughs> with you. Melinda's out. Joanne's thinking about it. Thank you. 20's the number to beat. Uh, 23 for Joanne. Yes, Anita is a troublemaker. Come on, Anita. <laughs> Anita is a troublemaker. Trouble. <laughs> Y'all see my wine? You see the, the little fin sticking out? Oh, Anita is a troublemaker. She's at 25. <laughs> oh, Ooh, Joanne's a bigger troublemaker. She's at 29. <laughs> jo Joanne will throw down with you. She throws down with the best of them. Anita, challenge accepted. <laughs> 29 is your number. You put succulents in yours, Ma um, Maria? Oh. Anita's thinking. She's thinking. Her fingers are hovering over her keys. I like that idea. Anita at 30 and Joanne hits her back at 36. Ooh, this is Texas style, folks. There you go. Anita's Anita. out, but she was a good contender. Thank you, Anita. So I put um, paper clips in them and uh, post uh, in your uh, planners. You put post notes in them. I guess I got to be a wide opening, huh? It depends on the size, I'm thinking. Yeah. 36 for Joanne. Precious lavender buttons. Do we have any other contenders? Anita's out. Yes, Miss Anita's out. She played well. <laughs> okay, ready to start doing our countdown? Whenever you are. Okay, yeah, go ahead. All right. We're you want me to once. count it? <laughs> We're going once. Going twice. So to Miss Joanne. And it should pop up there any second. Because I put it on going twice. There we go. Sold to Joanne Precious Lavender Buttons. $36. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. <coughs> Thank you, Joanne. Y'all played very well together. Now, the next one I have, it's going to start at, um, I'm going to have to start this at 45, my next throwdown. Do you want to put start in there? Yes, ma'am. It is. My uranium uh, sugar and creamer set. And it does glow. I thought this was a really cool set. They don't always have the tray with them. Yeah, it's hard to find them all together. Can y'all see that well that it glows? That is beautiful art deco, man. That's got to be 1930s if it's a day, if not older. I love this tray. It's so cool. 
You're back just in time, Christy. We're throwing it down, starting at $45. Yeah, I, I kind of paid up for this one, so. Well, I think it's well worth it. You just don't see that very often. It's beautiful. It has the Art Deco handles. I just love the look of these. They remind me of loving cups, trophies and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vintage digs for 45. Here we go. And so, I mean, it is, it has a good glow to it. I don't know if that shows up very well there. It's showing up pretty good. And, and you know, I've seen it in person, so I, I can verify how beautiful it is. I just love those handles. That looks like lightning bolts. They do. They do look like lightning bolts. So 45 is your number to beat if you want to challenge vintage digs. You know, I've seen the trays before, but without the cream and sugar. Oh, Tammy, you have frozen. Oh, you're back. You're good. You're back. It was a uranium. It was uranium. Too close to the <laughs> computer. <laughs> I've seen this sugar and creamer, but I, I haven't, I don't see much of the trays. So this is a really cool set. I love that. So if you anyone have else want a challenge for for anything above 45, we're looking for something to beat 45. So if nobody else is interested, then we'll go count down. Oh, well, Christina. <laughs> she jumped in at 46. Vintage digs, you're not going to take that from her, are you? <laughs> nope. 48 for vintage digs. I want to pour my wine in here and drink it from there. Do you go right ahead. We've got Christina at 50. Christina's the challenger. Am I tilting it? Oh, that's hurting my shoulder. Skunky Junk, we already have a bid for 50. Christina Gonsowski at 55. This is kind of heavy. Vintage Digs, Christina got in before you. So we got Christina Gonsowski at 55. 55 is your number to beat. Oh, this is exciting. I keep saying I want to start collecting these, and he tells me, no, I have enough collection. Vintage Digs is out. Jana, Skunky Junk, you want to challenge that 55? Thinking about it. Considering Jana is out, Skunky Junk, you're gonna go 56, you're gonna go 57. If you think you're through, then all right, that's not a problem. Thank you for letting us know. We appreciate you all for letting us know. So, we've got Christina Gonsowski at 55. If there's no other contenders, want to outbid her. This is a nice set. It's really pretty. Those of y'all that have these, do y'all have the set up in cabinets and that uh, the light that stays on and glows on them? It'd make a great night light at night, wouldn't it? That's what I would have. That's definitely what I would have. Because you can get out those little strips that, you know, you just roll mm -hmm. them out, plug them in, and, and they're ba some are battery operated. So, mm -hmm. all right. Christina okay. Gonsowski at 55. Going once. Twice. And sold. Christina Gonsowski. $55.
thank, thank you, you Christina. Christina. Thank you, guys. That was a good game. That was fun. <laughs> that was a good roundup. That was a good throwdown. Oh, I did forget something. I forgot that. You are going to be fancy, Christina. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, I didn't pull this out. The uh, Have y'all heard of the bonnet fit pattern? Do I have any sewers in here? But look at the graphics on here. This is really cool. So it has, it's a sewing pattern. I wish uh, Martha had this for her show and tell the other day. Me too. Where were you? I know. I, I wish I would have thought of this. I would have gave to you the Curious. show and tell. It. Yeah, take I some have of hands. This. Thank you. I have hands. But it's um, it's a plastic. It has this book. I mean, the graphics alone on this stuff is really cool. It is, um, and the lady that used it has her own measurements in here of reminders, I guess. And this is for the um, vest, but they're plastic and they adjust for your pant sizes. I checked this out when I was at Tammy's, and this is a very neat piece. Now, if, if you don't want to just use it for ephemera, if you know anybody who sews their own clothes or anything like that, they would really like this. I'm not this kind of sewer. I don't make clothes. I have a hard time doing sleeves. I make pillowcase dresses. <laughs> Cut out a hoe for the head. But it has all these pieces in here, and it's really cool little set um and this is the kind of pattern that you use over and over you know it doesn't get messed up like the the tissue paper patterns right it's plastic it's that um nice hard plastic show them that cover there tammy so they can see all the things that you can make from the these patterns i'm stuck here I'm trying to get it back in the box yes christy it would look great even just hanging in your sewing room so, see, anyway, it says it makes what 27. What does it say up there in that circle? Read that, Tammy, on the front. It says, So simple and clever, this money saving patterner adjusts to any waist and hip size exactly, makes every type of trouser pattern. 27 designs are included. 27 designs. I'm trouble getting them back in the box. <laughs> okay, take it, Dave. <laughs> so, anyway, this that pattern is that box is twenty four dollars and it's number eight for anyone that's interested. I almost forgot about it, it's sitting back behind me. So, I'm going to run through everything that didn't sell for anybody that might came in late. So that was the last thing, and. I gotta remember not to go fast because I usually go fast on this. You take your time. <laughs> so we have our froggy salt and pepper shakers. They are Japan with the stoppers. The stoppers inside here. It's in there. I th I think they remind me of the poisonous frogs. So any um, salt and pepper shaker people collectors out there. It's twelve dollars, number ten. She will definitely show the pillow again. <laughs> and I have the little girl picture frames, the Josie little girl picture frames. They're five by eight. Twenty dollars, number thirty-two. Jana, we've got you for the frogs. And thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Jenna. And then we have um, this handmade uh, wood, um, wood, this felt doll, <laughs> wood doll. It's a felt um, wool, wool is what I'm trying to say, handmade doll. It was $10, number 30. 
it's big about that big it's about my head big then we had our it's a small world uh perfume bottle avon doll i'm collecting these but i have this one already it's 14 dollars number 14. Then we had our musical box. Remember, it's a musical box. It does work. Little spicy owl there. It's $12, number 15. Jana, we got you for number 14. And then we got um, vintage digs. Vintage digs for number 15. Thank you. Then we have the um, earring holder. Remember, there's one earring in here of an apple for the pierced ears of the kitty cat. I mean, not kitty cat. Oh my gosh. Of a mouse. It's a mouse. Earring holder is $12, number 27. I think he's super cute. Vintage Digs. Vintage Digs would like number 15 to go to Calypso Cat to send it to her, please. Okay. Thank you. I love this community. They're such good friends. Then we have our little glass yellow clownfish with the blue is that i don't know if it, i think it's blue blue and yellow stripe i mean blue and red stripe in there it's 18 dollars for number 17. then we had our italian creamer is it italian italy yeah for $12, number 12. I love that big orange flower on there. I like these colors, those bright colors like that. Then we have our poodle pool, um, peel box. Little poodle peel box. There we go. And it has a little stand on it. I'm not sure why. Thank you for number 12, Joanne. I think I swallowed a bug. $16 for number two. For the pill box. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Then the the angel salt and pepper shaker. All right, no, we were debating on what these were. I'm thinking angels salt and pepper shakers. Twelve dollars, number five. They are Japan. They have their stoppers. But really cute angels. Uh, somebody said fish. Somebody said mermaid. Something like that. And then our what town was this again? Our San Francisco, the San Painted Francisco, Ladies. The Painted Ladies. They're uh, Otagiri. Otagiri. Trying to think of the name again. So these were for the set fifteen dollars, number twenty three. Those are the full house mugs. <laughs> full house mugs. Hey. There you go. Then we had the um, Homeco Rosette um, wall um, wall plaque. I think it's twenty one inches tall. I think I measured it, and it is twenty seven, number forty six. And Joanne has taught us that Home Co. was the precursor for home interiors. It was? 
Yes, that's what Joanne said. And let's see. I'm trying to find the paper that. Then we had um, our vintage um, 1927 book. Uh, okay. Thank you, Kat. We appreciate your coming. Fourteen dollars, number forty-two. And remember, this one did. The spine is off of this one. Fourteen dollars, number forty-two. But it's a good shape for nineteen twenty-seven. Yeah, great shape for nineteen twenty-seven. Um, and we still have this one available. Yeah. Yes. And we had the tapestry. Bake light handles purse for $24, number 40. Thank you, Jana. We appreciate you being here. Then we have um, the kitty cat matchbox. It was $25, number 21. We have the bud, um, bud base. For $12, number 20. We have our cutesy little old man. I said it was an egg holder. Some say it's too big for an egg holder. <laughs> I thought so. Cutesy little old man. He is $8, number 13. And his belly button's hanging out. I'm going to say belly button. Debbie Spilker, we got you for number 20. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. And then we had our little turtle planner. He had this little bit of this cold paint missing on his top hat. Cute little turtle. He's fancy. $16, number 22. Then we had our some called her creepy. <laughs> Our little, She's just um, intense. A <laughs> uh, uh, girl head bust. Bust? That just sounds weird how they say that. Bust. It's her bust. That's what it is. Um, little decoration bookshelf from the 70s. It has a marking on the bottom. 79. I mean, yeah, 79. Jana, we got you for 22. Thank you. Which is $24. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you, Jana. $24, number 29. Then we have the um, napkin holder poodle. Poodle Snoodle, as you call it, and the salt and pepper shakers with their little bows in the hair. And they got their stoppers. This for the set is $22, number 11. And then we had our box of uh, uh stampers shelly who after we got you for number 11 thank you thank you we got our little stampers um all of them are in there this is what's on the stamps and they're in great shape and it was 18 dollars number 31 
Then we had our um, tablecloth. It's square. Nothing in the center. The green, baby blue, and pink in there. Square tablecloth. It's fourteen dollars, number forty-eight. And then our little baby picture frame. It's a four by six size. It is six dollars, number thirty-four. And this is a plastic cover. Yeah, no. like an acrylic base. Yeah, and like an acrylic base of it. And then we had a little trinket dish here with the horsey. Uh, Twelve dollars, number thirty-nine. And. And then, uh, then the little, did I show the pillbox already again? Mm -hmm. Pillbox? Yep. Okay. And then the dish. Oh. I've never heard of Marwal, Christina. What's, what, uh, for that, for what? The bus? Oh. The, yeah, the girl head. You have mm -hmm. to check that out, Tammy. Yeah, and that, I, I didn't, when I looked them up, I didn't see that. And then this uh, platter. That kind of a thick platter, fourteen dollars, number thirty-eight, and then the pillow. It's twenty by twenty, handmade, all vintage fabric, and Chanel for twenty-four dollars, number forty-nine. And, okay, I think that's it. Am I done? I think so. Yep. Uh, except for the ephemera. You have that, that lovely package. Oh, do you have that? What's that? The ephemera? My ephemera didn't? Oh, no. Yeah. No. Oh, he has that over there as well. The pack of a, all oh, this ephemera. There's over 20 pieces in here for $16. And Rose would like to see the vacation book too, please. Okay. And if y'all want to see more of that ephemera, I'll pull the pieces out again. I'm glad you're happy with it, Jana. The cover is not attached. Is it not attached at all? No. The cover is not attached to it. But Christina, is, Tammy, huh? Christina is saying that the, she believes the maker of that head bust is also the one that makes the Hawaiian Wahini girl bust. You know, the head bust of the Hawaiian girls and stuff back from the, the 50s and 60s. Oh, okay. The Hawaiian girls, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I don't think I saw any, you know, seen that. They're they they made planners and stuff too. So. Oh, okay, okay. I think I know what you're talking about now. All the pages are in here are in uh, black and white. It almost looks like newspaper like um, the color of it. And it's almost 100 years old, so. Yeah, 1927. Seven. Yeah, Mary, Dave got you. So. I love the cover. I mean, the occasion days, I'm looking at the title and looking at the inside. Hmm, I need to read this book. Because. 
the pictures don't fit in with what the title says, I guess. A day in the fair, jolly winter weather. Uh, was that a tongue twister? School vacation. Jolly winter weather and the golden times. <laughs> oh, baby, Johnny and Dot. Freddie's black uh, berry text. Blackberry text. Hmm. Is that like a Blackberry phone? And they're texting? <laughs> How to floss help? Anyway. So. So that's number uh, 42 and it's $14. Number 42. Okay. And that was it that I have for tonight. And now remember to come to uh, our cell over at Miss Pamela Blanchard's tomorrow at second there rose oh rose wants the book yes please thank you rose and uh tomorrow we're going to be at miss uh, pam's cell uh doing a, a collab cell with tina a vintage and vintage coat a vision and vintage coat <laughs> and um and me at seven o'clock and you. Eastern. And me. I'll be there. <laughs> Shelly, she had the three-piece salt and pepper shaker with the napkin set. And then she had the um, pill box. That's, those were the two poodle pieces. Yeah, the poodle and this was a three-piece and that. Here. That was right. So the, the pill box, the pill box is the one that you're. Shelly, Shelly got the three piece. So. Well, now I'm gonna sit here and read the chat. <laughs> well, thanks y'all. Thanks for coming. Did y'all like my um, vintage pillow at least? That vintage pillow is awesome, Tammy. I saw several people saying they would like to buy um, pillowcases on their own, so you might look into that. Oh, I'll I'll take the pillow out and we and I'll ship it like that. But I do have a lot. Christy came over. Well, um, uh, Martha was here too, but she left when I took Christy to the sewing room because Martha already seen Show it. The pillbox and uh, yeah. she she was a. Uh, she put, started putting me to work, telling me I need to do this. And I've been wanting to make pillows, but I just haven't done it yet. Haven't had the time. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rose. Does it open up, sweetie? Yes. I don't know what the handle's for. It's, 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 I've seen, I looked up the pill boxes and maybe it's set in a pocket and that was easy to grab out of a pocket. I don't know. But it was interesting. I didn't find any more with um, the hand, um, little handles on it. And no pills were in it. So, is it? Brucey. He's super cute. Oh, it's a. Um, I'm sorry. It's the pill box is sixteen dollars, and it was number two. Whooshy, whooshy. And here's a greasy. Are you trying to jump out of my hands? And she'll have another pillow tomorrow night, Jana, at the other sale. Thank you, Shelly. I'll write you down for that. Thank you, Shelly. And this is cousin Brucey. Say hi. Hi, cousin. Hi, Brucey. These are for people. But, Janet, if you're interested in that pillow, she still has it available, I believe. Yeah, yeah that one's still 49. available. Yes, he's my sweet baby. Thank you, Shelly. He went shopping with us for the first time. He bet my purse. Half the time, people didn't even know he was with us. <laughs> Night, Jeannie. Thank you for coming. This is a good sale, Tammy. Thank I had a lot you. of fun. <laughs> good. I, I need to have you more often. Because, you know, uh, 
So Katie, you know, had to leave early because she always does her show and tell right after this. And, um, and we're going to go over there and see what uh, vintage Benny is on with her. I think he is uh, Jana showing his pinups. Thank you, Jenna. And I need pastels. We'll try to. Yeah, she wants to come tomorrow night and see the other pillow. Oh, I could have showed her. She's still here. I'll show you real quick so you can see it. Um, Janet, if you want to see it, let her know. She'll show you. She may already be gone. Yeah. Um, Thanks for coming, Jeannie. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for coming in to my cell, as always. I appreciate y'all. Christina, we're happy for you. That's a cool cream and sugar set. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like on the channel? Should his face be shown? No, I'm way too quiet. I'm way too <laughs> scruffy to be on this channel. I don't know. You had a certain something. I think you should be on more often. Uh, that's pretty cool. Don't drop it now, David. Oh, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> I, don't, I don't drop things that often. Not that often. <laughs> Good night, Skunky Junk. Thank you for joining us. Drop the mic. <laughs> but I have a good time with y'all. Hi, Cindy. I'm getting better. I'm getting more, uh, more comfortable um, talking and stuff. Even though I still twist my words around. Hi, Cindy. Are you just coming in? Or have you been here? Hey, Cindy. I, I think she just got here. I haven't seen her in the chat. Unless she was just being quiet. Yeah, she being quiet. <laughs> she being sneaky. So, uh, so do y'all want to go over and we'll go check out. I'm going to be on um, Katie's channel channel too um, in a couple of weeks for a show and tell. I don't know if I'm doing my toy collection or my camera collection. Well, Christy is telling people camera, so. Yeah, now she switched it when she was seeing the cameras. She's like, hey, you should do the cameras. Let me tell you, I don't know nothing about the cameras. I just like them and I just bought them. I don't know. Her <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what year, what uh, what the actual names are. I don't know. It's, it's very simple. It's this camera was used to take pictures. Pictures. And this camera, guess was what? Was used to take pictures. <laughs> so I'm not excited about having a show until I can show you them. You know I ain't going to tell you business? much about them. Yeah, you do the one you Keep like best. Secret. Keep it simple. <laughs> Tammy's Tammy's gonna explain it so simply. It she's gonna what we call in my office, she's gonna chimplify it. Chimplify. So it. even a chimp could understand. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't even know if I can like. explain the cameras. <laughs> Cindy just got here. No, I'm not uh I don't know what to um do. I put out on um Instagram though, I put a um a poll out. Y'all want to see my camera collection or y'all want to see my toy collection? I voted toys. Did you? <laughs> she can do the uh, collection of toy cameras she has. Oh, I have a toy camera. That's just, true. Just meld it well, all together. You'll have to put that in there, whichever one you did. Well, you can do a few toys, a few, <laughs> a few cameras, and then both toy cameras. That's right. I say since Cindy just got here, we just start all over. Okay, I'll start all over. So, It'll be a private sale. I can just show you what was left, Cindy. The, Mr. The L. Page, are you just getting here too? The private trunk cell. <laughs> Say cheese. Yeah. Hey, you know, you would appreciate this, Martha, and maybe a few people down south. Is I had a Facebook po post one time. I think we were playing softball, and this lady pulls up in a car and she opens her trunk, and we all. We all screamed, ooh, tamales. We Before she even opened her trunk, we knew she was going to sell tamales because it's like, oh, yeah. In Houston, you're the best tamales to come out of somebody's <laughs> trunk. trunk. <laughs> yes, sir. You are right. <laughs> so that's what I thought of when I yelled out private trunk sale. I knew a woman who was from. Brazil, I think it was Brazil, and she said that they had a tradition on Christmas you were supposed to give tamales. And oh, so every yeah. year we got tamales from her. 
and they were so good. <laughs> yeah, we always got a uh, mama's. Is it Grant? Mama's and Umble. Oh, grannies. Grannies. Grannies and Umble. Tamales and Umble. We well, she was somebody's mama. <laughs> I'm giving tamales away at Christmas to all my kids who, you know, so <laughs> I do that. I do that tradition. Can can I be one of your kids at Christmas? Because we always <laughs> yeah. need Mexican food for Christmas dinner. <laughs> yes, Mary, I will be researching either one I do. You know, I, I would have to refresh it up on my toys, too. You know, kind of the years that they come out. You think I don't I don't remember any of that stuff. I buy what I like and I like what I buy. That's my motto right there. So um, I I just know the toys are my age error and the cameras. I was a photographer and I just like the old cameras. Now I never really, really did film when I started the photographer. I barely started it. And then I went, uh, barely had that camera very long and I went to digital. And once you go digital, you don't like going back unless you are an old school photographer. Yeah. We're in Houston, Mary. So, but, uh, I just started collecting cameras and and anyone in central Texas and then heading northeast from there, y'all be safe. I hear the weather's bad. Hey, and everyone else, yeah. San I heard Antonio it raining on the go. Tornado warning. It's raining at your house. It's not raining here. Yeah, it was raining here a while ago. So I'm still debating on that. Y'all go vote on my Instagram. Tell me if y'all want me to do the toys or the uh, cameras. I have a whole room of toys. It's my grandkids play with my toys that I grew up with. Hi, Terry. See, Terry wants toys. <laughs> They've been trying to get me to do my camera collection too. So I told I told her I could be on twice. Give me time to learn my cameras. You know, is is that bad that I collect something I know nothing about? No. No. As long as you like what it looks like. That's, that's all that matters. That's me. I like the way things look. So shiny objects. <laughs> shiny objects. And that's what I keep saying. After mm -hmm. I started picking this stuff up, I'm like, should I start collecting this stuff too? Hey, You're such things. a magpie. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Once you see them enough, you start seeing things, you start liking things. So that's how collections start. Yeah. Oh, I see Vinny is showing his cards. Okay, shall we go over there and look? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go support Vinny. Let's Where go are support they? Vinny and Katie. And okay. Mary, Mary, tell me, where are you at? Where I mean, where's your family at? She didn't want to tell you. She's afraid you're going to stalk her. <laughs> it takes a minute to get through. <laughs> No, 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 that's not it. She's afraid you're going to stalk her. <laughs> we're going to check out their collection. So, okay, we're going to go check out Vinny's collection. I need to see if I can learn something. I need to learn how to talk. Like Martha. Oh, my God. If she didn't know about it, she faked her way through it then. <laughs> if she didn't know. I was going to say, Texas. are you implying that I talk a lot? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know how to talk, though. Denton, don't we drive through Denton? Denton's near Dallas, right? Yes, I, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah no. I, I'm, I know the town, though. I've, I've heard of it. But yeah, we're in Houston. Well, remember, if y'all are ever in Houston, we always like to do get togethers. So let us know. We'll take y'all shopping places. So, okay, y'all. I'm, I'm surprised some of y'all are sticking with me this long. And Katie, well, we were having fun. fun. Yeah, <laughs> this gets me used to talking on camera. Oh, Mary's and Katie, she fessed up. Oh, they're in Katie, not Denton. Yeah, no, Mary, you oh. asked Mary where her family was. Oh, Terry, Terry's um, son is in Denton. Yeah, Terry's okay. in Denton, Mary's in Katie. Well, you're not, uh, you ever come? Uh, wait, Mary has family in Katie. Family in Katie, yeah. yeah. Family in Katie, yeah. yeah. Well, that's not too far from us. We Hi, have Mary's family. One of our YouTuber friends live over there. Is she in Katie? Sugarland. No, in Sugarland. Sugar. That's right. Okay. Odds the difference. <laughs> well, thanks, y'all. Thanks for coming. Thanks for supporting me and coming and seeing me. Martha, big thank you. Thank you, Martha. Oh, no problem. You, you guys I'm come see me around, around Martha. Too. 
<laughs> I'm going to keep you around, Martha. I like having you. Well, thank I you. I like I'm you. still here. I, I like being liked. Thank you. <laughs> hey, um, RP Kent, have you been here before? I haven't seen you before, Kent. Um, you're in oh, Michigan. Yes, he was here earlier. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's not far. Hey, Rose, I thought you were leaving. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You're so kind. She does do a great job. She's just, she's just good at this kind of stuff. She's a good talker. She's, she's so pleasant to hear. <laughs> Did you see our video, Rose? She's funny. She's kind of funny. Her and Christy both. I'm learning. I'm trying to be funny. You are funny. <laughs> I laugh at you all the time. Yeah, that's. Dave, that's just what I was saying. That's a different kind of laugh now. That's a different kind of laugh that he gives me. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to go see um, uh, um, Benny's collection, see what that boy collects. And y'all know Benny's only like 26 years old. He's a young man, um, big into this vintage Another world. Another old soul. Yeah. And that's on Katie's channel, Vintage and Vinyl. Yes, on Vintage and Vinyl, who was just here, yeah. We're going to go over and see her. So thanks, y'all. Thanks for coming. I'm so, I am so I so appreciate y'all. Make so, sure you're I'll subscribed and, and follow Tammy on Instagram, too. Yes, follow me on Instagram so y'all can get all the updates and stuff. And remember, tomorrow, tomorrow, come to Miss Pam's uh, um, um, Pamela Blanchers. We're going to do a sale over there tomorrow at 7 Eastern. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting it so you'll catch all the links and stuff. And a sneak preview of what's going to be there. So, okay, guys, thanks for coming. I'll Bye. see you all next time. Bye. Thanks, Martha.